And Anthony, what's the what's the mood in the squad going into Sassy's final? Uh, I think it's been been very relaxed so far. Um, you know, training yesterday was was tough as it always is on um, on Wednesdays, um, but we we got what we needed to get out of it. Um, and now everyone's just going to recover as best as possible today, um, and then get a get a team run in tomorrow, and then we'll be ready to go. When you produce such a big win against New Zealand, obviously you raises expectation. How do you go about dealing with that? Uh, for me personally, I think you know in sport you've always got to back things up, um, and I think you know guys with the guys that we've got like Owen, Maro, Mako as leaders, um, you know they won't um, be comfortable with any kind of complacency. Um, so you know we've got to make sure that we back it up this weekend. Manu, South Africa posed. Everyone talks about their physical threat and how big they are. What, what's it like to defend in the midfield against them? What what challenge does that pose? Yeah, obviously uh, we spoke about it in the week. Um, they're a tough side, um, physical, um, big men. So um, you know we're gonna have to gonna have to take it to them on uh, on Saturday. You know we can't wait for them to. You know, to bring it to us, uh, if we do that, you know, it would be a long day in the office. Anthony, given the way that they kick just to get themselves into your territory and they give you opportunities, how important is it to have that mindset to write every chance we get, we take it back at them, ball in hand? Yeah, I think, you know, um, as Manu said about, you know, their carriers in the midfield, we've also looked at, you know, their 9 and 10 and how they kick and, um, you know, we've looked at ways in which we can nullify that. Um, you know, I think we saw majority in the, in the pool games how important the aerial battle was. Um, and, you know, we've continued working th on it throughout. So, um, you know, nothing's changed really in terms of how hard we've worked on our individual skills this week. Um, you know, there's a little bit more tactical emphasis on it, but um, as a back three, we'll definitely be ready for, for, the, for the challenge that they pose in that area. Um, and, you know, if they kick loosely, um, you know, then we'll be ready to, to take what opportunity um, is given to us. Uh, Anthony, it looked like there was a, a lot of emotion going on from uh, at the final whistle last weekend. Um, how um, can you t tell us a bit about, I suppose, your journey to get to get back to where you are, and 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 how do you kind of reset for a final after such a such a kind of high point? Yeah, I've tried lying and say saying that well, my eye was bleeding, uh, but not too many people believed me. Um, but uh, I guess it was just, I don't know, I don't know what it was to be fair, I guess, you know, after the 13 months or so that I've had, you know, this time last year, I couldn't, I couldn't lift my heel off the floor, I could barely walk without a limp, so, um, you know, I was, I guess, very appreciative for the moment that I had there and then, and, you know, it was actually quite ironic that the one person who knew, um, you know, why I was particularly upset or emotional in that moment was, was actually Manu, um, I guess, who, who's been through um, you know, exactly, if not worse, um, situation. So, you know, to have someone there, you know, with the experience and the skill like Manu um, was very comforting as well. So, yeah. Just on a similar theme for Manu, to, for, for both of you, but for Manu, if you could answer it, 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 to have been through that many injuries and then to be sat here two days out from a World Cup final, that, it, that's, it's a very special journey, isn't it? Yeah, you know, I, I same as Ant, you know, I feel very blessed um to be here and to be able to to get this opportunity to to play in, in another World Cup. Um but to to be here now, um the opportunity to 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 get involved in in the final. Um you know, never dream of it. Um you know, it's beyond my dreams. So um, for me, I'm, I'm just thankful to, to God um, for his guidance um, that, that's got, that's got us here uh, where we are today. Uh, you're not the only two players who've had sort of a bit of injury hell, if you like, Billy and JJ and people like that. How has it come together like it has? You know, this is an unchanged starting 15 and the only change is Willie on the bench but what, how has it come together that you've all got fit at the same time how much hard work has gone into that and who have you got to thank in terms of staff if you like for support uh, we, we, you know the, the physios and, and, and all the, the staff you know they look after us really well um, Carl our, our chef you know amazing uh, cook amazing food for us so that 
you know, enables us to, you know, to feel good and, and uh, to train well um, and work hard on the pitch. Um, I think that's the most important thing is to, um, to get your body right and then work hard. You know, work, working hard is, is it's the only way that, um, that's going to get you to where you want to be. And, you know, the boys, you know, we, we've been doing that um, since, since we met up. Anthony, how, how dark a place did it take you, the, the injuries, and how far did you have to come back? I mean, did it ask things of you that you hadn't had to do before in mentally and physically? Uh, yeah, definitely. I um, mean, you know, I think I said it a couple of times, there were two or three days in particular where, um, you know, I was very dark, um, you know, considering whether I would ever be able to run at the same speed or, um, you know, change direction or anything like that. And, um, you know, those days were pretty tough, but, you know, I was lucky I had a very strong support group around me, you know, friends, family. Um, you know, Carl Sinclair is someone that I spoke to pretty regularly about, you know, my mindset and stuff throughout the injury, and, and he helped me loads. Um, but as Chief said there, you know, the, the physios here have been, been world class. You know, Bob Stewart has taken great care of me. Um, you know, even when I wasn't in the setup, he was texting me on a regular basis, seeing um, what I was doing, bouncing ideas off 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 me and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, as Chief said, I'm very appreciative of, of the position that we're in this weekend. But um, you know, it won't make sense unless we go out there and get the win. Mano and Anthony, um, you both play club rugby and school rugby uh, as schoolboys. It gives a sense of you know, how you feel now on the eve of the World Cup final, just looking back at those early days and, and to where you are now? Um, I, you know, I don't think there's been too much reflection um, at this point, to be honest with you. We've been very focused on, um, you know, the here and the now. Um, as I said, training yesterday was pretty tough and, um, <clears throat> you know, we had to, to do that um, in order to put ourselves in a good position for Saturday. Um, Likewise, today we'll recover as best as possible. Um, so I think you know um, the reflection type stuff will happen, you know, after the final whistle. But for now, we're just concentrated on trying to put our best foot forward for Saturday. England が o し優勝すると、はい、OK。Thank you. イングランドがもし優勝すると16年ぶり4大会ぶりになりますで前回大会は残念ながら決勝トーナメントにも出場できませんでした今回優勝するとなるとそのイングランドにとってはこれはどんな意味のある優勝になると思っていらっしゃいますか教えてください Um, obviously, you know, it's, um, it's a great position to be in and, you know, if we, you know, if we win, um, obviously, you know, it's going to be a, a special moment um, and, um, you know, it's something that's going to be with us for the rest of our lives. So, um, we have to, we have to, to put everything into it. Um, to to get that win, you know, it's it's going to be tough. Um, so for us, you know, we're not thinking about anything. Um, we're just thinking of our game plan um, and how we're gonna how we're gonna execute it. Um, whatever comes after, um, we we'll look after it when we get there. For both of you, uh, who have you got? Out here, family, friends, etc. Everyone you wanted, and I know there's been a bit of a social media campaign to to get Marcus out here. How's that coming along? Um, yeah, I think Marcus is supposed to leave this morning. I think from England with my younger brother, so they'll both be out here, um, and my parents are out here as well. And then just a few family friends and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it'd be great to to have those guys here. Um, I've just got my brother here. Uh, Freddie, um, my other brother Henry was supposed to come, but couldn't get his visa in time. Um, and the missus will be here as well. Um, so, looking forward to seeing them. And then last question, back. Thank you, Ben, for that. Thank you very much for that. Enjoy the game. 
<coughs> Thank you. Uh, the last days, it was very much about the kicking game of Pollard, De Klerk, but they also have, as you know, Leroux, Colby, uh, De Allende. What are your views about those danger in attack from South Africa? Uh, yeah, I think, you know, we obviously spoke about the kicking game, um, you know, from Faf de Klerk and Andre Pollard, but, you know, um, you know, Faf's a, a great sniper around the ruck and Andre Pollard can take the ball to the line and carry as well. So, you know, there's more to, to their game than just kicking. Um, <clears throat> and then the other backs you mentioned, you know, guys like Cheslin um, and Mapimpi, you know, you give those guys too much space and they can cause havoc. So, um, again, it's, it's important for us defensively to know um, what we can do to nullify those threats. Um, you know, we've been through um, a lot of it in the week, so it's just about implementing it now.